what's got tons of flashing lights, weird noises, and special effects? No, it's, it's not your stomach after one of Dad's barbecues. It's a pinball machine, and our next guest is an expert on them. Please meet pinball wizard Roger Sharp. Roger, tell us what you're doing right now. Oh, playing Obviously pinball. playing pinball, okay. <laughs> this is one of the newest machines cut to come out, right? Yeah, it's not out yet. It should be out in the next week or two. And what's so different about this machine from other ones? Well, I think today's pinball machines in general are different because what they do is they talk to you. They There's talk music. To you. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's all the effects, and what it is is just positive reinforcement for the player. Right, right. So if you walk up and you're kind of mystified about what to do, yeah. it, the game kind of teaches you as you go along. Right, exactly. And then you learn the rules and things hopefully become a little bit easier. Right. Well, I, I'll tell you, I played the last time we had pinball machines when I was a kid, and uh, they've come a long way. What are some of the differences in the last few years that well, happened? I just happened to make a shot, which is one of the differences. All right. In this particular game, there's a magnet. A and the magnet. magnet actually holds the ball up on the flipper. The uh -huh. speech tells you to flip or not to flip, and then you flip, and it's a perfect shot. Yeah. What do you think? Let's, let's talk for a second. What do you sure. think the difference video games has influenced pinball machines. Do you think they have it all? I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. I think with today's pinball, what you have are storylines. Yeah. And, and the storylines have really changed the games for, you know, young players as well as older players. Right. It's, it's no longer just random artwork. Right. There's, there's a whole theme to it, and I think that the theme really comes from video games right. and also in terms of the scoring and some of the other effects. Exactly. And I noticed that, that you were moving the machine and, and I remember something about a tilt. Now what does that mean, the tilt? Uh, the tilt allows you to kind of physically interact. You can poke the game a little bit. It's called Move nudging. Right, right. Up to a certain degree. After yeah. that point then the game will tilt That's out. It. How did you first get involved with pinball? Pinball machine? What, what was um, the moment? I guess the first moment, I was about six years old uh -huh. and just discovered these machines. I was with my parents on vacation yeah. and I couldn't believe it. It was right. like, my God, and this is obviously before video. Yeah. But when I went away to college uh -huh. and, and it was just something about the games and uh, it was very appealing to me. Right. Uh, so it was a chance it. to play a game and actually win. You know, with video, it's a little bit different. It's, right. it's a programmer. He comes up with certain patterns and mm -hmm. certain routines, but at least with pinball, at least for me, you have a chance to control your own exactly. destiny. Exactly. Exactly. Now, the thing I was fascinated with, you have how many pinball machines in your house? I have 11. 11 pinball machines. I think you would be a fun dad to have. <laughs> we had one, and I thought I was lucky. So, listen, we have a kid in our audience who is very into pinball, and uh, we thought we'd have him come out here and you could teach Great. him a few pointers. Sure. Come on. Wayne, you want to come on out? What, what do you think about pinball machines? They're great. You think they're a blast? Yeah. Would you like to try some of the latest ones that have just come out? Yeah. All right. Okay. You sit right up here, and uh, we'll have Roger here give you some pointers. Go for it. You're uh, already set. This is one of the new ones. It's based on a uh, game show. You're doing pretty good now. Now, oh, Oops. oh, went right down. Well, See, that you happens. play just like me. That happens every once in a while. Yeah. All right. Get ready for it. Now, these things make quite a lot of noise. Is this a kind of a good way to drive your parents crazy? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> nice shot. See, that's one of the key shots. It's going to come down. You want to shoot up to the right? Okay. Who, made the, who built the first pinball machines? Uh, first one ever patented is from 1871, a man by the name of Montague Redgrave yeah. out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Right. And, and the first commercially successful one was in 1930. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the future holds? I mean, now we've got them that speak and we've got them that tell you what to do. I mean, what do you think is going to be the next level? I think the big thing with pinball in general is a sense of surprise and discovery. Ooh. And it, I mean, it's solid objects under glass. Yeah. And if you can think of lasers or holography, yeah. uh, there's a lot of different things that haven't been touched or tapped yeah. into yet. Exactly. So, uh, how if somebody in our audience wants to make pinball machines their life work, what can they do to have 11 pinball machines in their house like you do? Well, I think the big thing is going to be uh, degrees in engineering. I mean, it is an exact science. It yeah. takes anywhere from eight months to a year to get a pinball machine from its first sketch yeah. to a finished game. It takes oh, a yeah. long period of time. Oh, I bet. But if somebody is really into games and uh, knows a little bit about engineering and yeah. geometry, I mean, it's important to get the education. Oh, yeah. So there's a lot more than just, you know, liking to play pinball. Exactly. Wayne, what do you think of this so far? It's fun. I can't wait to play it when it comes out. You're actually doing good here. Is he doing good? Yeah. 
He's making the shots. Great. I've noticed that they have all sorts of, and I don't know if we can get a camera shot, but all sorts of extra little runways oh, that make yeah. it two levels as opposed to just one. Ramps and elevated action and multi-ball play have now become a staple of uh, the modern-day pinball. Just the part. Listen, I can't thank you enough for stopping by. It was great having oh, you. This super. is exciting. And we're going to let Wayne here just well, continue to play.